It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people, and welcome to another episode with Supreme Decisions. And I want to start off with thank you, Russell. Yes, today I received my iPhone 11 from Russell. I appreciate you, brother. Yes, this is what we're shooting on today. But today I'm going to keep the theme of what I've been doing, which is Live PD. In this episode, you're going to hear one of the interrogation tactics that I told you about, or I, we kind of went over, discussed, reviewed, examined, however the hell you want to um, take it. But in this, listen to the verbiage of the officer and then understand you have the right to remain silent. It is your will to participate in a police investigation. It does not change any faction of the law. When you're watching this video and you're paying attention to what the police officer is saying and you're understanding the aspects of an investigation, these are the things that we discuss. These are the things that are real life that you may or may not come encounter with. But at the end of the day, this is something that's going to help you along your journey. Hey, I'm Lieutenant Brown, I'm a supervisor right here, okay? Everything's over right now. But what we gotta do is find out who you are. Cause if not, check me out, just listen to me, okay? I know, but if you don't give it to us, okay, you can catch a couple more charges. What you gotta understand is if we book you in and we don't know who you are, we're gonna book you in as John Doe. And you're gonna sit down there for upwards of 45 days until they find out who you are. When you give us your name and everything, there's a chance you can get out tonight, man. But, what's that? Yeah, I, I know you probably have, man, but I hadn't dealt with you. They're gonna pull you over there and check you out. But uh, I need you to seriously think about giving us your name and your date of birth, okay? Because that would, that would speed things up a whole lot for you and for us. The suspect that wouldn't give us his name, his date of birth, or anything like that, really didn't want us to know who he is. Now, at that video's conclusion, you see, with the Supreme Court cases that I put up, you do not have to participate in a police officer's investigation. You don't have to give them ID until they articulate a crime, which is also why they must hand you a search warrant prior to entering into your private property because articulation comes before work. Before they pat you down, officer safety is not an issue. It is not a requirement. It is a feeling. It is policy. It is not law. 
So in order to pat you down, they need your consent or a warrant. They need to be able to point to the dangerous area. Cause you remember, you have to be specific in a warrant of what is being searched and what is being looked for. And now I'm going to end today with, thank you guys for donating. I'm going to put up a little bit different links so you guys can actually see a little better and continue helping this channel move forward and grow. Apple Pay, Venmo, Google Pay, and Cash App. And for you people with bank accounts, I know you like to do it fast. I have Zill. I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, but it is what it is. It's up on the screen. I love you guys. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. And again, thank you, Russell, for the iPhone 11. Peace.